Good morning, everybody. This morning, I'm going to attempt to make a vintage tab bound journal. Now I saying vintage because what I'm doing is I'm going to use some vintage images that I have. These here are copies of the vintage images I'm going to use, but I'm not going to use the copies. I want to use the actual images that I have. So this is, I want to use it is, um, this is a new thing I haven't tried yet, so this is going to be new. This is going to be the back cover. Let me show you how I'm going to assemble this book. I'm using, well, I'm using, well, of course, everything is not going to be vintage, but this is not vintage paper, but it is coffee dyed to look vintage. And so, and this is out of some Tim Holtz. Um, paper, and then I'm going to use this image of Grandma. She, this is an actual vintage picture. And I decided what I want to do is I want to... Um, let me see, I'm trying to get a little further away here. What I want to do is I've got beautiful vintage images that are, are are truly vintage that were sent to me by a very wonderful um, um, Susan Krauss. She sent me some beautiful things and I have been kind of just hoarding them. I don't want to just hoard them. I want to actually use them. And so this is kind of makes me a little bit nervous, but it's okay. And so I'm going to use grandma there and then I've got this here paper. This here is a packaging from some Tim Holtz things. Here's a bride and groom. I don't have a date on it, so I'm not sure how old that is, but look how beautiful they are. And then I'll put in this page, which looks kind of vintage. And then I'll put in this one and then here is another image that is actual vintage of a family streeter illinois is where that was taken at the watson watson um photography studio apparently and look how they all got dressed up for the image <laughs> and when i look at the at the gentleman he looks like he doesn't look real happy because I'm sure his wife talked him into getting dressed up and cleaned up and take off that old farmer hat and comb your hair and we're going to go get our picture made. And he probably needs to get back to the farm. So he's probably not real happy that he's got to sit there and take that picture. But the picture is aging and so it's fading. You know, they will fade. A lot of them fade after a while. A little chip there but it shows its age, and I just love having that picture. And there is a coffee dyed, and here we have another page from, um, let's see, this, I wonder if maybe, okay, then we, let's put this one here. This gentleman, oh my God, maybe well, this is too much. This gentleman, you, know, you can see his picture is broke. The um, the there is actually imprint of the name of the studio, Cook Studio. I cannot see, but it's actually raised there. Cook Studio. I can't see. I wish I could see that. But um, that, let's see. Let me see. I think I want to put this one here, this one here, this one here. 
that's going to be my book. This is going to be the front cover this way. This is actually a lot of times back in the day, um, they got their images. Look at that little girl. Isn't she just beautiful? And look at that smile. Mama's got her hair fixed all up pretty with a bow. It's got a beautiful little dress on. And look at that smile. And I don't think there's a date anywhere on this either. But I am going to leave this folder like this. And that is going to go on the front. But when I attach it, it will be attached here, this way. And um, then I will be able to embellish the front of it to where it still opens like that. I think that's going to be so awesome. So to do this kind of binding, now this has this here piece of chipboard I have. It's got holes punched in it already because I had them punched for a different kind of a for my cinch but um that's going to get covered up so it won't matter now I have these tabs there I have these cut at one inch by two inch each one of the tabs and um I hope I cut enough I've seen other people do do these. I've seen um, the last one I watched was 47, 49 dragonflies is what she goes by. And um, I watched her do hers. She used, in, she didn't use paper like this she and this is like the heavy paper it's not like just flimsy paper it's just it's the heavier paper so i hope it's going to work okay she used um fabric washi well i don't have any fabric washi in fact i've never heard of fabric washi so so but that's what she used to make her hinges with and um and so, but I don't have that kind of stuff, so I'm going to use this, which I think will work just fine. I think there's the paper, I think will, I guess you could even just use fabric, you know. But um, you by, by having the wa fabric washi tape she had, then she just had to peel, she cut her pieces out and then, and then, then all she, she had to do is peel the backing off and then it, and it's stuck. So I'm going to have to look into fabric washi. Not that I need anything new. I've got plenty of stuff. But this way, um, this way should work just fine. And so I'm just folding these in half. Okay, let me get started. This is what how it's done. This is how it's done. Now I have different sizes here, so I may switch those around, but I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the first three tabs on. When I watched the lady in 49 Dragonflies, she used four and three alternating four tabs and three tabs. I'm going to alternate three and two. So, um, and I don't know why. I just am. Just am, that's why. Okay, let me see. Let me check something here. Oh, okay, it's okay. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on, put the first tabs like this. One, two, three and then I will even them up this way okay so then that and I'm not measuring gosh geez me and measuring just don't get along and so I'm going to use I'm using this aliens tacky glue it it holds well and it dries quickly so so I'm going to just glue the back side of it right now 
and put it here. And then we put the bottom one and put it here. And then I can center that center one in. And I'm putting that underneath that back because this is going to be the back cover. The back cover of the journal. See there? So now they're kind of evenly spaced. Okay, now, but I only glued the back part on. I didn't glue the next. So the next page I'm going to put here, but I'm going to use... Hmm, let me see if I'm doing this right now. Yes, I'm going to glue these two tabs on top of that back journal, on, on top of the back cover, just like this way. Okay, now I'll take this page, put it on here, and use those three, those first three I put, and I'm going to glue them over onto this page. Now here I put a folded page on here. So I'm hoping that will work out good. And so, but I think it will. I think positive, right? That's what I do. Think positive. Okay, so I'm going to glue those three tabs down. Those were the first three, the first three. So now that them first three are connected to the back of the journal, the back cover, and this first page I put in. Well, it's two pages because it got folded in half. So then I'm going to go with this next page. And so then now that one, hmm. Okay, these will get glued down with this. Oh, okay. On this page, then, I'm going to need to put on Okay, I'm going to put on I want to kind of match that up with this, with the three here. I'm putting these onto this page this following page. Okay. This is my first time making this. So I want it to be the best that I can do. And so I'm just gluing the one side of the tab and I'm sneaking it over there onto the page like this. Okay. So now they're glued to the, those three are glued to the back of this new page. I had it down here so I could line them up with these three. Okay, so now I'm going to, I got too much glue on there. Okay, so now I'm going to use those two tabs. I'm going to glue those two tabs. And I'm going to put those two tabs to hold that page on. Now I have those three tabs that I just put on. So then now, this is the scary part because I'm using an actual photograph. Um, now I'm going to put Grandma. Grandma, I'm putting you. I love your chair, Grandma. That is so pretty. She's sitting in a beautiful chair. She's got a beautiful dress on. As her smile isn't there. Why did they not smile back then? I'm not sure. Okay. Um, so now these three tabs are going to hurl hold her on. But first I'm going to put two tabs onto the back. Of this picture. And kind of just line them up there. 
where those other two tabs are previously. So you go three and then two, three and then two. Or if you do the, you know, four or five, you can do it, you can do it differently. Okay. So now those are on the back of the picture. Those two I just glued to the back of this picture. And then those will wait while I glue the three. Now these three, one, oops, two, three. Grandma, you're in the book. You are in the book, Grandma. She's beautiful. She is just beautiful. Her hair is all pulled back. I bet she's got it in a bun. My grandma used to wear her hair in a bun. I bet it's in a bun. So see, now I have how those pages are. Okay. Now... Now I go with my next page. See, I laid my pages out first, so I have them. So I have them all in the order I want them to be. And as you see, they're not all, all straight. They're not all the same sizes, and that's just fine. So now I'm going to put. See, now I got two tabs there, so I've got. I need three to go on this newest page. It means I'm alternating. So this one's going to have three. One, I'm just gluing the back of the tab. I'm just gluing the back of the tab. Two, I hope my sound is better on this video than yesterday when I made a video. Um, my sound wasn't good, and um, somebody brought that to my attention, and so I kind of and did some inspection and I think what was the problem was that I had the microphone too close to my um, my mouth and so it caused like um, friction or whatever that word is that I don't know okay so now I've got those three on this one okay so that'll wait for the next those only wait for the next page and these two will be the one that hold this page on okay those are being held on with this here these tabs right there all right and we're ready for the next page so and here's where I'm using the um, Tim Holtz um, paper. I think that's awesome. And, and you know, oh, I'll, um, that'll get covered up. You know, this will get covered up with something. But I want to, when I start to embellish this, I won't do it all today because I know it will take too long of a video. But, um, I want to get the, the journal together so I won't change my mind. I won't change my mind. And I want to have it. It's going to be very um, vintage inspired. I love vintage anyway. And I love these images I have. But they've been in a little package in a drawer because I just couldn't see using them. But then I thought, well, if we don't use them, if I just hoard them, you know, once I, you know, buy the farm or whatever, I don't know that any of my family would have even any interest in them. And um, so I thought, well, I'm going to make a journal and I'm going to use the actual pictures, although, I, like I said, I made copies in case I want to use the pictures again. 
but I'm using the actual photographs in here. And who knows, I might put it on an Etsy. I haven't put on anything on, I keep saying I might put it on Etsy, but I haven't put anything on Etsy in a coon's age, so. Okay, and here's the bride and groom. Love this. I love this image. This is beautiful. I wish I really knew who they were. Okay, so the, now see, there's two there. So I know this one needs to have three. And so I will put the glue on the back of this image. Okay, just gluing it to the back right now. Glue to the back. glue to the back. And I'm just trying to keep it lined, you know, with the one below it. So they're kind of in a kind of orderly fashion. Not that I ever do anything in an orderly fashion. Okay. There we go. So there. Now, and so see there, I've got those on this page, but now I want the page to be in the book. And so I just put three there. So these two are the ones that are going to hold the page into the book. Will forever hold their peace. I bet these two had, you know, this is old picture. And so now the, these two, made a living, they've had their children, they've had their grandchildren, probably great-grandchildren, no telling how old this is. They might be in heaven as angels, but look at them. I Look at, he's all in white, white shoes, white suit, just beautiful. Yep, I can tell by their smiles that they were really in love. And so I am sure that they had a wonderful marriage. Okay, so now I'm going to add this page. And I'm going to put two tabs on there. This is where you, if you got the hang of it now, you um, can fast forward. If you got the hang of it. Or you can just kind of... You can, um, or you can just hang out with me. It's okay. So there, now that's this page is on. Got the two tabs ready for the next page. And I'm going to use glue the three to put this page. I love this paper. This, this piece of paper is kind of a different piece of paper. It almost feels like it's handmade because it's got a texture to it. And I only had two small sheets of this paper. It must have been sent to me in a happy mail because I've only got two small sheets. And, I, and again, I was, um, I was, why is my dog barking at this hour of the morning? Quarter past six. Oliver, come see mama. Oliver, Oliver. Albert's ignoring me. Okay, so then we're going to go with this page. Now that one's glued on with the three tabs, so I'm going to need two. Um, now I'm going to put three. My dog got me all um, discombobulated. So this is going to be so here now I put three on. Because I need three again. So I gotta. Um, yeah. There we go. I can't really talk good. I'm. I don't make a good instructor, because I lose my train of thought. Although I can do this, and hopefully, you can get a bit of an idea of what I'm doing and then try yourself. I know we all, there's so many ways of binding a journal together, any kind of a book together, so many different ways. And so 
see there. Now I got those on the back, but see, I put them down here so I can line them up with the three previous ones. Okay, now, now those three, I'll wait and put them on the next page, but glue these two. from two pages previous. Okay, so there we go. Now, see how that's going? Oh, I'm loving this already. I'm loving this already. I'll go in there and make sure I don't have any glue squeezing out causing trouble. Okay. Now, oh, the next one is, the, uh, the, oh, this was the farmer family. He wants to get back to his farm. I'm going to milk your cows. Can you hurry up with this picture? That's what he's thinking. He's thinking, i got to milk the cows. And yeah, my mom, my father used to, he, you just have to, you have to um, milk the cows on time or they're going to get the mastitis, he said. He said, oh, God, cows are going to get mastitis. Whatever that was, I don't remember what that was, but apparently it was something not good. Okay, so I'm putting, putting, yeah, so I don't, I don't think any of them ever got mastitis, but he took good care of the cows. Yeah, I don't think they got mastitis to look that up now. Now that I just remembered that word. Okay, so now we're going to go with, I have another one of these pages. I wonder if I'm going to have too many. I don't think I could have too many. I don't know. I'm one that just, okay, so now this one is going to have the three. I'm going to glue the three because see, I just glued those two on this one. So on this one now, I'm going to fasten it in there. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Something's wrong. Oh, see there? This is what I need to do is I need to put the farmer family in there. See, I knew I messed up something. See how I get sidetracked or something? So there, got to make sure that farmer family is in there. Now, you know, if I wanted to be really particular, I could have rounded all those corners on these tabs. I could have rounded them. I could have done different things with them. Okay, now I come with this one. There, now I feel better. Okay, so now this one needs three tabs. One, two... Three. Okay, so I'm going to put those three tabs on now to the back of the new page. Oh, wait a minute. Here, let's get this right, Lizzie. Okay, put that right there. There we go. And then, now, like I say, I'm only gluing. The back side of the tab. Line it up with that one. I'm not getting them lined up completely perfectly straight, but I'm doing the best I can. And that will be good enough. You could probably measure, you know, and, and get them all exactly right but I'm not into all that measuring stuff okay the only thing is I'm trying to keep this back spine where they're all they will all be um equal you know at the same place okay now I'm putting the glue onto the two that will hold this budget paper in okay and then we're ready to go on with this next page, which again I'm using a I'm using a um, the paper that comes with the 
with some Tim Holtz stuff. So, and the papers that come with it that just are um, packaging, you know, gosh, these are beautiful paper, paper, beautiful papers. Okay, so now this one's going to be glued on with the three, so I need to have two. I need to have two tabs here. And set that right there. See, I leave that page there so I know that it's set on the book where I want it to. So Okay, so then we got that tab there. All right, so now that this one will go in with the three. So I'll put three. Okay. I feel like I'm sounding confusing. There. See, I put the two tabs on this page first because they're going to glue in the next page. They're going to be the ones that hold in the following page. And that's what you do is you put them tabs on to hold the following page. So there we go with that page is in there. Now we're going to have this page. This is fun. That's got a bunch of stamps on it. Okay, and see those two tabs will hold on this page these two tabs, but before I do that, I want to get the next tabs on to hold on. Okay. Okay. So the, I want to get these three because then they'll hold on the next one. Okay. So that one will go there. And this one will go here. And this one will go here. Let's make sure those are glued. Okay. Now I can take those two. And I'm going to glue those two down onto this page to hold that page in. Okay, now I have this gentleman. Is he not handsome or what? I bet he was the talk of the town. Look at that hat he's got on him. He is absolutely handsome. And you look at him and you wonder, what did he become? I think he might have become he doesn't look like a lawyer, no attorney of any kind. He may have become a doctor, not a farmer. You know what? He turned out to be a teacher. Yeah, I'm thinking he became a teacher. Okay, that's silly of me, I know, but I like to do that. I bet he became a teacher. He looks like probably like a teacher in a college, like a in college professor. At this time uh, that this picture was taken, he was probably most likely, um, you know, I bet he was in college. I bet he was in college. And he was the ladies' man. I bet he was the ladies' man. But I bet he respected his mother a lot. I bet he really respected his mother. Okay, so he's glued. You know, he's not glued in yet. He's ready to be, though. Okay. So these three are going to attach this young gentleman. I wonder what his name might have been. 
wasn't Clifford. He doesn't look like a Clifford. Henry, no, he wasn't a Henry. I bet his name was David. He looks like a David. David, are you David? I bet his name was David. And he turned out to be a college professor. He's probably retired now with his grandchildren, you know. You know what? I bet he loved horses. Okay, but anyway, now we're getting to the cover. This is going to be the cover. Okay, so, you know, actually, actually, um, when I watched 49 Dragonflies, she made sure her cover was taped on with three. So I wonder if that means I should actually have one more page and then the cover so that it will be three pages. Let me see if I've got something right here that can make a page. This would be good. This would be good. I'm going to I'm going to make an, an extra page here just so the cover will be so the cover will be um, because she did mention 49 dragonflies she did mention something about what am I doing here I'm trying to just make sure this is the same in size ish actually it doesn't have to be the same size at all okay yeah, she did mention something about um, the even number of pages. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that'll be fine. So this will be better. Okay, then I have, then the cover will be, be held on with three tabs instead of two. So I just added another page. These are going to be fun to embellish. They're going to be fun. And when I start embellishing these pages and making pockets and such as that, I'm going to be using um, vintage ephemeras. I mean, things that actually are not copies, because I use a lot of copies. But because I have actually got vintage items. I'm going to use them little babies up. I'm going to use them up. Okay. So that's better. Now with those three we'll cover put on the covers and then I will put I will glue this page down with the um, two tabs. That'll be a two tabber right there. Okay. Now the cover. Now I have three tabs there for the cover. Now the cover, like I showed you, is is this flip type of because see back in the day, then they could take this like this, fold it like this, and there's a little slot there for this to go into. And then they would use that like an easel to to put the paper. And um, so I'm going to leave that on there. This is going to be the cover. Look at her. She's so cute. And I just want to bite her. Little dimples and everything. Oh, I'm excited to be at the cover. Now, so now this... These tabs are holding on the cover. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. There we go. And then this and this are just here. I'll, I may use like a magnet to hold this onto here. But there, this is the journal now. Do you see how the binding looks? I didn't keep my tabs all real lined up but you could if you wanted to be a finicky real finicky you could have it to where all your 
tabs, you can see five rows of tabs. And um, you could get them to line up just perfectly. But so that's my that's my journal so far. So those are my pages. Love this already. I know I'm going to have so much fun with this. And see, by putting a folded page in there, that works just fine. See, I didn't know if I could do that, but it works just fine. There's the bride and groom. And it opens nicely. There's grandma. It opens very nicely. Another um, folded page and the back cover. But I have got things like I have some very vintage. Um, this comes from the Maine Central Transportation Company mileage report. This is a ticket for something. But it is written in a language from another country. So, but it is number 635. Here's from the Main Central Railroad as well. And to Boston and Albany Railroad Company. It must be like a re. And look here. The date, it says 188, and they were supposed to put the date in. They didn't put the date in there, the, the year, but it says 1880 whatever. So that's really old. Terms are cash on delivery. This is so cool. But this is going to somehow go into this the, this journal is going to have um, many vintage papers many vintage papers that are going to embellish these pages and I may even I have some like vintage snapshots not actually you know photographs they're just snapshots that I have and um, This guy might have even owned the railroad. I don't know. But anyhow, I wanted to show you how how I was doing that anyway. And so this is going to be so much fun to embellish. But I just was wanting to do the binding system. And hopefully you might try that. I'm going to do it again on another one sometime. But um, I just think it's it's fun. My glue isn't. I want to make sure my glue is good and dry before I start um, playing with it too much. But yes, it's it's going to have, and and I may put something even that kind of covers up the um, the tabs a little bit. Not much though, because I think the tabs give it. Um, some sort of the tabs give it some sort of um, character here maybe I might put some wedding bells on here I don't know I don't know and I just love it just like it is I love the images in there and I love that I'm using them it feels good that I'm using them and not hoarding them and so, and the cover is going to be fun too. And this is, this here, I think is going to be a fun way, <coughs> excuse me, even to make a cover is to have one fold out like this and it be the cover of a journal like this. So that's what I wanted to show you today. And um, I'm going to be digging out my, um, my things. I also have some printed vintage things that are copies and I might use some of those in there and um, and I've made quite a few pockets, library pockets. I've made this one here. I've made the pocket using the envelope and but see 
even if I was to add a pocket, you know, and these ones I've got tags ready to go. They're not done yet, but I'm going to make a tag for that pocket to match. But now I don't know that I'll use that one because that looks too girlish to go with that one. But I have a bunch of these that I've got started, which are just the pockets. And a lot of these are vintage looking too. Very vintage looking, which the, with the, um, papers. So I would, I, on all of them, I made a pocket and then I've got a piece of paper here ready to, for the tag. So, and, um, yeah. So I'm going to have fun getting this together. <laughs> I want to say thank you to, um, I want to say thank you to Arlene Adkins Zell. Bless her heart. You know, the other day I, she sent me this happy mail. This is what's in the happy mail. Tickets. I think what she did was when I was doing a video a few days ago, there was something that I was doing with a challenge that said to use a ticket. Well, I didn't have a ticket. Right at that time, I think I have tickets, but I don't know where they are. And um, so I used something else for a ticket. And then the next day, I got this in the mail. And she sent me tickets. I was so excited. I said, oh, my gosh. I, and I think that's probably why she did, because I said I didn't have any tickets. So she sent me tickets. Now, I want you all to know that if I say I don't have something, I probably really do have something. But... Um, but um, just don't know where it is. That's most likely what's going on in my house here. Okay, let me read you a little something to start your day or finish your day or whatever your day. Um, hmm. Okay, this one here, quite interesting. It's, it's, it's working together about working together. If you choose to believe that everyone is working with you in a productive and harmonious fashion, you will find that wherever you go in life, people are there to assist you. Give me a marker. We are all part of the harmonious whole. We, we are each a divine idea expressing through one mind in harmonious ways. We have come together because these are some, because there is something we need to learn from each other. We have a purpose in being together. There is no need to fight this purpose or to blame one another for what is happening. It is safe for us to work on loving ourselves so that we may benefit and grow from this experience. We choose to work together to bring harmony into the business at hand and into every area of our own lives. Everything we do is based on one truth, the truth of our beings and the truth of life. Divine right action is guiding us every moment of the day. We say the right word at the right time and follow the right course of action at all times. Each person is part of the harmonious whole. There is a divine blending of energies as people work joyfully together, supporting and encouraging each other in ways that are fulfilling and productive. We are successful in every area of our work and our lives. We are healthy, happy, loving, joyful, respectful, supportive, and at peace with ourselves and with each other. So be it, and so it is. Those are very wise words. And we are a harmonious whole. This was from the book by Louise Hay, and it is Heart Thoughts, a treasure, Treasury of inner wisdom. And we all need that. We all need that. We need heart thoughts. We need inner wisdom. I think we um, sometimes almost blame ourselves that there isn't world peace. You know, there's just some things we just need to know that we are part of 
something good. And so I ask God to watch over you. May he watch over you, bless you, every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.